Hello, everybody, anybody, nobody. Welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni 2. Nailed it. Nailed it this time. Um, we are... Sorry, I was just uh, swallowing my, my last bite of dinner there. Um, we are going to... We just finished doing pretty much a bunch of side quests. I think we have two more little side quests we could do. I think... Um, well, you know what I actually want to do? Now, hold on. Why? Are they just pointing out, like, you don't have a quest for me, right? Uh, excellent timing. I was just able to come looking for you, Your Majesty. I've been asked to pass on a message. Mm -hmm. A message? Who from? Yeah. That's a weird way to say that. From the leaders of the army of Goldpaw, they would like to stage a mock battle against our forces. It seems they are keen for our two kingdoms to share battlefield know-how. That sounds like an excellent idea. What were they planning on? When? Where were they planning on staging this battle? In the hills east of Goldpaw. In fact, I believe they are already waiting for you. Oh. Oh. Then we better go over there right away. Hmm. There is no need to be hasty, Your Majesty. Excuse me. Oh. Sorry about that. Your Majesty, the battle will not be an easy one, and Goldpaw's forces are not to be underestimated. Their hammer attacks, in particular, can be brutal. Be prepared. Hmm. You're right, Min Minty. You're, you're messing with me, game, right? And thanks for the help. A tip. You are welcome, but even the best of us will cannot ensure victory. Once battle is joined, it will be a- Yeah, I know! Mm. Don't worry, there's no way of losing this one. Okay. No, we're not doing that quest right second. We're, we'll, we'll check out these quests. Uh, thank you, King, King Evan. I am very glad indeed that you have invited Fi Do to move to our kingdom. We have made a vow to help each other to become the very best craftspeople we can be. Mm. That sounds wonderful. I'm sure you'll inspire each other enormously. <laughs> arf, arf. At the very least, it will encourage us not to let ourselves be outdone by one another. However, there are still a number of weapons I still lack the confidence to attempt to make. <gasps> Bows, especially... Oh, that's not a sentence. Uh, my grandmother never had the time to teach me the secrets of bowcraft before she passed away. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. What about if you were to look at the work of other bowers? Boy, that's not a word. There's no way that is the word for somebody who makes bows. Might help that <clears throat> might that help you gain confidence. Hmm. Grandmother always said that it's from the work of the greatest craftspeople that we learn to be great craftspeople ourselves. Yes, I think that might help a lot. Mm. Well, I better go find you a good example to work with then, Han and I. Thanks. You would do that? You mean for me, Your Majesty? Oh how kind. If I could have a hybrid bow of grade five or higher to emulate, it would be almost most mm -hmm. helpful. No problem. Once I find what you need, I'll bring it to you right away. Alright. Uh we're not uh, no, we're not doing that our active quest. Uh, Hi. Your Majesty. Oh, you're not. Okay. Um, I meant to talk to this quest person. I did not press A on Hi. them. Uh, King Evan, I'm very glad that you decided to ask Newbie to move here. We made a vow to help each other to become the very best craftspeople we can be. Mm. That sounds wonderful. It is exactly the motivation I need in order to push myself to make it a better, yet better armor for everybody. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, there was something I'd hope we might discuss. Mm -hmm. What is it, Fido? Chingy's came to see me recently and asked me to make some improvements to his unit's armor. They are in fact long overdue. The equipment they have been using until now is very in poor state of repair uh, indeed. Unfortunately, their armor is a type I have not encountered before, and I suspect the work will take cu quite some time, unless I can get my hands on a certain item. I was wondering if you might be able to provide me with a suit of iron armor upgrade higher... Okay, yes. Yes. Mm. We got it. We got a good armor. We, we are not going to do those right away, because, you know, we are just going to finish up the active quests, or the uh, side quests from last episode. Um, but first, we're going to actually take on this banner over here. I believe we're high enough level to do that, um, because we're a little low on our skirmish level. Okay, this is a level 11. That's even higher than I thought it was. We, we definitely can't do a level 11, so... We're gonna wait on that. Let's check out our quests. We may just, um... Yeah, I think this is the one we're gonna do, actually. Um... Yes. We're, we're gonna make that our active quest. We will teleport to... The Forest of Nile. Uh, trip door map. I can't get my mouse over it. Yes. <clears throat> oh. So.
so, um... Alright, well, we're here. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say there, but that's okay. Sometimes... Sometimes people forget. Um, but I was... Once again, looking forward to playing this pretty much all day. Did have some responsibilities that got in the way, but I'm back. Uh, a little tired, but, um... Oh, yeah, they don't... That doesn't attack me anymore. That's nice. Um... I had some responsibilities get in the way, but, um... I'm here. Um... Is this the person we're looking for? Yeah. Oh. Well, you've gotten yourself in quite the predicament. Oh dear, whatever am I to do? Don't worry, Miss Henry, I'm here. Okay. I'll do my best. Oh, level 27. Alright, yeah, they're... They're up there. I mean, they're still... We're level 30, so... Not too bad. We do need to find a place to level up oh. our... Uh, I wanted to pick up those items first. Thank you ever so much. I thought I was done for golly. Evan, is that you? No, it's the other king. I don't know. I've been so worried about you, dear. I didn't know what had become of you after the coop. But here you are, alive and well. Mm. It's lovely to see you again, Miss Henny. But what are you doing all the way out here? Mm. Well, things in Ding Dong Dell have been become rather unpleasant of late. I thought I might sort set off somewhere else and do some teaching. It's all I've ever wanted to do, you know. I don't care what tribe or kingdom my pupils come from. I just want to help them learn. Well then, you should come with me. I found a whole new kingdom. You can be the teacher there. Oh, Evan. That sounds wonderful. I'd love to. Was that all we had to do? Are you freaking kidding me? Alright. Well, we got another citizen, so that's pretty cool. And a lot of... Oh, that was the stuff that was on the ground, most likely. Alright, so we are going to do the shipwrights of Capstan right now. Um, so, well, I read a cool fact, oh, yeah, I know, I read a cool fact today, um, I was reading about, um, baseball, um, from a daily email list I get, shout out to, uh, the now I know email list, check it out, are we going the wrong way? Um, I thought that's where it wanted us to go, oh, no, it's not, um, and it was talking about, here's another quest, Hey. We don't have a quest. Do you have a quest. Oi. Ouch. Hello there. Even if, Evan and I was just thinking about you and your kingdom. How's Morel the Lapaca herder doing over there? That's not supposed to be Alpaca, right? I hope she's alright. Mm -hmm. Um, Muriel? Aye. I dear, old Muriel. I bet she's causing all manner of mischief with that bow of hers, eh? I'm ever so sorry, but I don't think I've ever met anyone called Muriel. You don't know Muriel? Well, I never. I thought you would. She's a grimlikin just like you. You see, she had a flea ding dong dell with all the unpleasant pleasantness happened. I was sure she'd have made it to Evermore by now. I know that's where she was heading. Crivens, I hope she didn't get lost in the way. What? That would be terrible. I better go look for her right away. Yeah, we're gonna wait on that. Ow ouch. That's ever so kind of you. Now I cannot tell you exactly where she might have got to, but I don't know that she'll have her alpaca with her. I'm gonna pronounce that alpaca, I'm sorry. The two of them are young and is easily distracted both. They've probably been charmed by the wonders of the forest somewhere along the way. Thank you. Thank you. I'll search yours and see what I can find. So yeah, no, but I was um, I was reading about baseball. And um, it was talking about how back when baseball was like first invented, um, they didn't have rules about running backwards. Um, which you think like, like I initially thought like, that's stupid. Why wouldn't you? I thought that was always a thing. But um... The reason it was put in place was because um, back when it first started, there was like a... Are we going the wrong way? Yeah, there's items over here. Um, back when it first started, the there was like the, some guy who was on second base and he ran back to first. Like he was trying to steal first, essentially. Um, almost as like a trick play to get the catcher to throw the ball. I have no idea where we're going. Um, and uh, so that, that the person on third could run home, which I thought was actually kind of cool. Like, I never, th I never really put too much thought into like, you know, let me let me steal first base, like, um, you know, just because everybody's. Where are we going? Oh, we have to. Okay, I see. Um. Everybody's always so focused on scoring a point, so it's kind of, um, 
you don't really think about it. And plus, like, I grew up, it's always been that way in baseball. I played, like, T-ball as a kid, and, like, I wouldn't have been like, you, you want me to run to first? I don't freaking think so. Oh, oh, these are the barbs we have to spray stuff on, right? Maybe. Yes, okay. Oh, my. The, these must be the... Man, imagine if those got stuck to your clo clothing, like the... Uh, I don't know what they're called. I think they have different names in different regions. Uh, these must be the puff burrs now I was talking about. Yeah, they look pretty spiked to me. I think you must be right. He said just a puff or two, didn't he? Well, here we go. You spray a bottle of puff... Bottle of the thorn away spray all over the puff balls. Dang, is it going to teleport them? Golly! Jeez, Golly, they just... They disappeared just wow. like that. Wow, they really did. That's some pretty niche product. Um, but yeah, so that rule was that was, rule was implemented, and uh, I actually think that uh, in the the little email list, it actually said that um, he ended up getting out on the play, and I don't think the runner made out. the The runner didn't was out as well, um, and I think they actually ended up losing the game. But and there was like a there's like a big commotion on the field because. The umps didn't, they didn't know how to call it. They like, um, <laughs> the ump argued that the runner at home shouldn't have been out because like, um, I guess the manager walked onto the field. It was like, it was like kind of a mess. Um, I guess it was like the only recorded instance of somebody trying to run backwards. Um, but I still thought that was pretty interesting. Um, and like I said, that was, um, there's a email list called Now I Know. Um, if you just Google it, you can sign up for it. And I know nobody ever wants more email because it's usually spam. But um, this list is cool. They just, Monday through Friday, they sent you a little... Uh, I might have talked about this before. It seems like I did. They sent you a little... Uh, just a cool little, like... Not, not really an article. Uh, but a little brief thing to read. Um... I say article because it doesn't link you to anywhere else. You just read it right in your email. Um, like uh, the the day before today, yes, I guess that's called yesterday. We have a name for that. Um, they were talking about uh, the, the little, I'll just call it an article. Understand that it's not really an article. Um, drive out, where, who, where is the other monster? Oh, we have to, okay. Um, it was explaining why um, it has do not eat, like what happens if you eat the do not eat silica packets, basically. Um, which they're not uh, toxic, so you you can technically eat them, I think it said. Um, obviously it's recommended you don't. Uh, they, they may make you like dehydrated uh, because their job is to absorb moisture. But um, the the biggest problem is choking on them. That's why they don't, because like a lot of times kids will eat the packet, not just um, not just the silica beads. I think it also said it might irritate your throat. I don't remember. But by the way, this is not a call to start a uh, silica eating challenge, like the stupid Tide Pod challenge. <clears throat> but yeah, no. There's, there was a, there was another article. This I don't know why this one sticks out to me. I just, I guess, because I thought it was really cool. Um, we're just doing some exploring here. I'm not really trying to get to the, the quest era right away. Um, there's a, a light in. I want to say it's in the New England area. I don't know for sure where it is. Um, but it's a traffic light that. Uh, the green and red are reversed because I think we're going the complete wrong way. Yeah, we are starting to head back towards the beginning. Um, <clears throat> the green's on top and the red's on bottom because <clears throat> it had to do with like um, the town didn't want um, and if, if this is wrong, I'm sorry, uh, but it's all the more reason to actually go read the story and get an accurate uh, details. But um, they didn't want, like, the Irish... I, that's something wrong. I think they didn't want, like, the Irish color or something above... Or they wanted the Irish color above the red color. Something along those lines, uh, if I remember correctly. And I believe it's still standing to this day, although it 
may have been removed recently. Uh, at the time of that article, like a year ago, I think it was still um, up. There was another one um, about... Um, there's, I, th I think it's like Wisconsin or something. Only has one elevator, or one... Um, not one elevator, one escalator in the entire state. And there was some information about escalators, so... I mean, there's... I mean, there's that it could be about pretty much anything. So if anything interests you, I recommend you sign up. Prepare it's free. To be so I think they just they usually do put like a little ad or, or like a sponsored message in the email, but uh, it's nothing nothing crazy. Um, so it's a pretty cool free service. Um, I haven't really found anything else like that. Um, the other email that I actually subscribe to hold on we're gonna get this chest is um, the Wikipedia list uh, the daily list they send um, I look looking at the word of the day um, they also do like a on this day type of thing uh, so it's kind of cool um, I don't usually check out I usually only check out like uh, stuff that interests me uh, when Wikipedia sends it so like if they're talking about I don't know some king in the 13th century uh, I'll probably pass uh, but they'll, they'll you know they'll have like something maybe about like the b-52 bombers or something like that and I'm all for that so I think there was a, an article on reddit today although I didn't click on it there was like um, some like a b-52 flew with um, like half its tail missing which I thought, it's, it's crazy how, like, uh, over-engineered planes are. I don't know, like, I, I'm kind of big into aviation. I think I mentioned, like, I kind of, I've always kind of had, like, a passion to be a, pir uh, a pirate, Jesus, a pilot. Um, and um, planes are, like, just so crazy over-engineered, it's ridiculous. Um, there's this one really famous video. Um, this, this pilot was showing off, um, I don't remember what commercial jet it was. It was some commercial jet, and, um, he, he was doing, like, the demo flight of it to, like, a bunch of potential buyers of the plane, and he ended up doing a barrel roll. I guess it's actually an air, an alien roll, or however you pronounce it, but a barrel roll. And, um, the, uh, he actually got fired because he did that, uh, but they quickly hired him back because it showed off, you know, what the plane could do. So yeah, a lot of your civilian planes can probably do a lot more than they than you think they can. Um, there's actually a video of him of him doing the roll and like the pilot talking about it. So that's actually pretty cool if you want to look that up. Um, there's also another really cool video. They're great to look up if you're afraid of flying too, because it shows just like how much thought is put in to what everybody calls like, you know, like a tin can flying through the sky. Well, there's a lot of impressive technology in that tin can. Um, there's also, I don't remember what, I think it was a Boeing uh, wing demo type of thing, but they were basically stress testing the, uh, the wing. Craigie, these are the biggest trees I've ever seen in my life. Oi. I, I, Mighty Star these are trees. Uh, Mighty Sturdy 2 by the looks of them. This make a boat that the that can take a proper battle in Mun Tidy. And we didn't come across the monster I'll mention after all. Look yes. Oh we got a boss fight. I want some right too soon, it could be out there anywhere. Ugh, excuse me, I had another burp. I'll continue my story, don't worry, I, I didn't forget about it. This looks like the creature we have to fight. Looks like a Yeti unicorn. I'm down. Zag. The doughty defender of the toughest of timbers. Uh, I would have preferred a little yeah. more alliteration, but, um, so yeah, they're, they're doing a, oh man, I don't think I'm doing any damage to this fucking thing. Um, let's see if we can get behind them. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good. Can we hit? Um, they were doing like a, they were, I guess when they build new planes, or maybe they do it for every plane, I don't know, but they, they test how much the wing can bend. Um, you could probably Google like airplane wing bending or something. I don't know. Are we supposed to like shoot him? Can we lock on to him? Um, 
And it's really... Would you get down here? What, what is the point of this? I'm not going to shoot you with... Okay, that was dumb of you. Um, it's crazy how much they can bend before they actually break. Um, mo most of the... Most of the reason why planes fly the way they do is for passenger comfort. Like, I believe they can actually go faster, but it's like a comfort thing. Um, they also try and avoid turbulence, obviously, stuff like that. Oh my god, dude. Alright, at least I dodged that. Alright, this guy is not that hard, it's just I can't run fast enough. And there's like, no, there's no sprint button, so... <clears throat> oh, we gotta, we gotta wait for him on the tree bark again. What, what other cool... I mean, obviously there's a... Um, which, you know, if you're a Redditor, of course you've seen this. Where... I don't know where this guy is. I don't... I don't see him. Oh, he's over there. I couldn't see him. Um, I mean, but I don't know. Maybe you haven't... If you're new to Reddit, maybe you haven't come across the story. There's the... Um, oh, jeez. I can't even think what the plane's called. Um... The SR-71 Blackbird. I couldn't think of the, the numbers and letters. Um, that has some really cool stories, if you're if you're interested. That's the blighter bagged, hehe. <laughs> yes! Now we can finally get our hands on that one. We better have our capstan until Ketch and the others were ready for them to get started. Yeah, so... One of the... Honestly, I don't even want to spoil the... If you haven't... If you haven't looked up the SR-71 stories, look them up. Because... I think the pilots actually like wrote like a book or something. Um, you don't have to read the book. Some of the coolest stories you can find online. Um, although the, the, the book might have other cool stories that I haven't read yet. Um, but just as for 71 like stories and um, it's really it's impressive and the way they describe it is uh, just way better than um, I could ever describe it. Um, I, I think that, it, I believe that is the fastest plane that's ever been made, um, if you're wondering what the SR-71 is. Um, although, I, th I think they were planning on, um, building, like, not a, se <laughs> not a sequel, but like an SR-72, essentially. Um, although, obviously, for, uh, reasons, it's under, um... You know, it's all under wraps. You know, national security, top secret, that, that type of stuff. Besides, maybe that it's been announced, but... Um, so... I don't think there's any way... I don't think we're ready for this mock battle, if, if, if the previous battles are anything to go off of. Um, okay, we'll do this one. I don't mind. Um, I don't know what the difference between, like... Like that icon on this side, it looks like one's for a person and one's for a kingdom. I don't really understand what the difference is. I don't know if it ever described it. Uh, we'll go to this map. Oh, dang, we're... That, that quest is like right next to Evermore. Uh, we're not going to check our um, kingdom right now because I don't think we have 5,000. Oh my god, is there another freaking quest? No, we'll do it later. I don't care. Whew. So we are heading southwest. Um, here's the question for you guys: When uh, I get my first subscriber in the year 3010, um, what uh, what uh, like, what's it called? Is it a, mn a mnemonic? Do you did you learn to remember um, north uh? east southwest uh like so i learned never eat shredded wheat i think there was also like never eat shredded wheat type of deal um but i'm sure there's there's other ones that uh people learned or uh even like uh you know one one you made up what's your what's your best uh mnemonic i do believe it's called for uh Northeast, Southwest, or, you know, just in general, let me know what the best mnemonic you know is. Um, again, if that's not the right word, just, uh, you know, 
Just uh, go with it. Um, oh, here's the Jumbo Woods. Um, I know there's one for, like, the planets, but I... Like the planet order, but I don't remember it. Oh dear, where could we have gone? Where oh. could you have gone? I think we found a missing person. You're Muriel, aren't you? Ooh. King Evan, gosh. I just say it like King Evan. I didn't expect to meet you here. Are you lost as well? Uh, no, you dingus. We're right outside our kingdom. No, we came here to look for you, actually. Would you like to show us the way to Evermore? Oh, I'd love to go to Evermore with you, but I can't leave just yet. It's Paco, you see? My alpaca. I mean, it's not a typo. They, they copied alpaca everywhere. I guess it's El... El I don't know. La Paca? He's gone missing. He ran off into the forest, but I just don't have the energy to go after him. Don't worry, Mariel. I'll go find your alpaca. You just wait here, all right? Thanks. We'll just assume it's her accent saying alpaca. Oh, thank you, King Evan. I'll be waiting right here then. Um, another another cool fact, because I got to talk about something. Um, wait, hold on. Oh, we didn't <laughs> we didn't even oh no we did do the main quest in um, Niles Woods. I forgot. I thought for a second we'd skipped it. Um, there's, there's, um, a difference between initialisms and acronym, acronyms. So, like, uh, NASA would be an acronym, I believe. If you're wrong, it might actually be both. But, like, FBI, FBI is actually an initialism. I think I got that right. If I didn't, you can, uh, yell at me in the comments below. When I, uh, oh, <laughs> that's so dumb. Why does, why does that, okay, whatever. Um, oh, we're almost, uh, wait, why are they up there? I don't know, that's strange. Um, so we'll probably be ending that, oh, these are level 17. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, hopefully, hopefully you don't find these facts, these facts too boring, or you, everybody already knows them. I mean, it's not like I'm a, you know, I'm not saying you're not going to know them, but just trying to provide some interest and commentary. Where, what, I don't see, I don't see anybody. Is Paco hiding? It's Paco Taco. We're going to get this item. Oh, there's a chest back here too. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Seriously, if you, if you, if you, if anybody actually makes it this far into watching any of my videos, and you haven't looked that up by now without the amount of times I've referenced it, you need to go look it up. You need to go look it up. Seriously though, Paco. Oh, is he right there? No, dude, that's a freaking alpaca. Wait, how do you spell alpaca? Crap, my phone... My phone is charging or I would look up how you spell alpaca. There you are. How did you end up here, I wonder? Well, never mind. Oh, wait a minute. They do spell... Maybe alpaca, like you're just pronouncing the two L's. Like an L? I don't know. I wonder, well, never mind that now. Let's get you back to Muriel. Yeah. Orgle Borgle. <laughs> I wish they would have voice acted Orgle Borgle instead of that Mew that it just did. Oh, Paco, there you are. King Evan, you found him. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> now we'll be able to come with you to Evermore. Please don't tell me we have to lead you back. Wonderful. You'll both be very welcome. I'd be happy to come take over any monsters that are giving you trouble. I'm a crack shot with a bow and arrow, you know. And it's the least I could do to af after you went after the Paco farm. <laughs> That sounds good to me. Just promise you'll teach him not to go wandering off by himself again. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll make sure he stays with me the whole time. Yeah. Orgle, orgle. Mm. Perfect. We'll look forward to seeing you there, Mariel. Cool. So, <clears throat> again, hopefully you don't mind me doing side missions. I, I'm sure there's got to be some people that, like... Like, there'd be some people who would be angry that I'm doing side missions. Um, I mean, they're kind of... <sighs> I mean, it's a JRPG, though. I, I was going to say fetch quest questy, but, like, yo, look, it's an RPG. If you really want to get technical, everything in an RPG is a fetch quest. Um, so we wanted to look at the quests, the quests, the quests. Um, we're not... Well, we may actually do that one. Um... We I don't know I don't know if we have those. Um well I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here, uh mostly because I have to use the restroom. Uh but what I will do is we'll come back, take a look at our quests, and uh, I will also tell you the proper spelling of alpaca. So if you wanna know and you don't wanna Google it, 
make sure you watch the next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.